Hi, I'm Robin from Circles in Stone and I'm a stamping addict. And welcome to my stamping series. And today I'm gonna show you how to punch metal using a multi-purpose power hole punch kit. So grab your supplies and let's do this. Hi, and welcome to the power punch segment of the stamping series. Um, I purchased a power punch in order to be able to make um, more stubborn holes, uh, say to make my swatches. So basically to make these swatches, what I did was I bought one by six inch bracelet blanks and I cut a hole or punched a hole through the blank and uh, attached a key ring. And so here I have all my fonts and I'm starting to do designs, design stamps that fit a theme to each one. So for instance, I have my Zodiac and uh, Moon Phases slash Shalom one. And uh, I'll have, I have my sports on another. So I use the power punch to make the hole on this for the key ring. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna actually take one of those blanks that I had made in the past, um, four swatches, and I'm gonna make a whole swatch. And that way I can keep it with my ruler that I hang on my workbench with a, a cup hook. And that works very well, actually. And that way I have a reference to the sizes of the punches um, at a glance. So here's what I'm, I've done. I have prepped a blank already uh, with a, a line that goes down the, so, the middle. And I'm gonna take the punches and I'm gonna basically draw out where I want them situated on this blank. And of course I've already, like I said, I've, these are, it's already been punched. Um, so, when you get your power punch, it's going to come usually in a case and inside, when you open it up, usually there'll be an instruction uh, leaflet, which is very useful. Everything you need to know is down here, really. Um, you will notice when you open it that you have your punches and you have your dies. This is a die key. So what I'm gonna do is, cause what you're actually doing is punching the hole, I'm gonna take these punches out and I'm gonna draw on here, um, basically where I'm gonna put those, as, cause this is gonna be my swatch. And this is also gonna show you how to uh, punch the holes and I'll, I'll show you how to set up the tool. So I'm gonna roughly take this guy and I'm just kinda like, I'm just gonna trace around it a little bit, like kinda like this and just kind of where I'm going to punch it and actually the best way to do this is um, I'm going to count so I got one two three four five six seven seven punches I'm just going to count them out I'm going to do one in the center and then I'm going to do uh, three to each side so um, since these are super small, go in this direction. Um, they can bunch up a little more. These can spread out more. So I'm just going to do about mm, one, two, and three. Spread out a little more as I go this direction. I don't know if you can see better this way. Okay. Then I'm going to go this direction. Um, I already got one here. One, two, three. Okay, I don't like kind of see what I did here. Okay, that's where I'm gonna put my punches. And then I'm gonna go back in later on a, and I won't do this on the video because uh, it's just stamping. I'll stamp the size above it with number stamps. Okay, so setting up your power punch. We're gonna go with the smallest size first, this guy. So you're gonna open up your power punch. Okay, it's gonna look like this. You got a pivot handle, 
you got your uh, lower throat and um, in here and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your die key out and I'm gonna these correspond these punches correspond with a die punches correspond with a die and you'll see the numbers this is 332nd 332nd die you want to get the corresponding punch with the die dies are super easy to put in they're threaded you literally take the bottom and you just hand tighten it in can't get any easier than that now what you do is you watch through the here and you can see how high you're raising it if you go too high you know you're gonna kind of you might dent the metal a bit so kind of want to make it level you can just fill it with your finger it's pretty level that's it that's all there's to it it's that easy and then the other part you have to unscrew this and in the beginning you might need to use the die key to go in there might be a little snug but I had just taken a punch out so I'm gonna take out that don't lose that okay this is gonna lift out look like that okay you can see where the hole in the hole was what that does is it loosens this guy up see here so what you're gonna end up doing and you can lift this pivot handle up see the pivot handle when you lift it up it gives you more room just play can't break anything okay then you grab your punch that corresponds with that particular die and you're just going to stick that to the T shape. The T is going to slide into there. So I'm going to lift this up. And it all pivots. That's why it's the pivot arm. And stick this in the hole to the best of my ability. Kind of have to move it around a little. Okay, see it's in the hole. Went in the hole. But that T part needs to be up. You can play with it. You stick your nail in there, kind of pull it up and down, see how I'm doing that. Basically, you're just going to swing this this guy back. It has the T-shape until that slides into that. Boom. See, like that. It just takes some playing with, but eventually you'll get it. And when you find that you've got that, this now can go boop back in place and then you just stick this back in here and then you will not you'll want this nice and tight nice and tight but not oh, don't over tighten there's no need to over tighten on any of these okay and see what happens now you got your punch so i'm going to set this aside and we're gonna do our very first hole, okay? So I'm gonna take my little marked X and I'm gonna slide it inside there, okay? Now, you're probably not gonna see what I see, but I'm try I'll try to make it kind of close. I'm just kind of getting it in the ballpark here, okay? And then once I'm just going to let it snug, could it hold itself? And that's when I grab it by two hands. And then I give it a firm boom, punch. And then when I lift it up. Now this, sometimes it gets a little squirrely and it, it gets kind of stuck on the punch a little. Just give it a little wiggle. You know, wiggle it out. And there you go. Now you got a hole. And then I'm gonna stamp later the three, I think it was 330 seconds, right there. And then this'll be my reference tool. I know that's the size hole for this size punch. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove and put in a different punch. So I'm gonna bring the box back over and we'll go to our next size, which is uh, one eighth. Okay, so this is the easiest part, unscrew. Can't get easier than that, right? So that's easy. 
I'm just gonna now put that back. Get the next size up and screw that back in. Okay. Now remember, you always want the corresponding punch. So now we gotta remove the punch. And I'm just gonna loosen that up. And once you do this a few times, it's so easy. And then I'm gonna pop that out. Come back here. That loosens all this up. Even lift this up. Lift up that handle. Lift it up. This slides out. And then you can now slide your punch out. And then we'll grab that next size. And then stick that in the hole. Just like that. And then bring this part back in. See, look at this. Bring this back in. Boop. And then it it takes in that T-shape. Then you can bring this back down. And then you can put your screw back in. Did I tell you not to lose? That I almost did. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Boom. Just like that. That easy. Okay. And then I'm going to, now there's some, one other feature I'd like to show you. This is the throat depth. So you can actually unscrew this and you can actually create like a bumper to, to, to bump the size of the, the sheet metal or whatever that you're putting in there, blank sheet metal. Um, I'm not doing that really. I'm kind of just centering it. So I'm going, now the thing is too, uh, and I'll show you after I, I punch this hole. I'm going to do one more hole for demonstration purposes. And then I'll go to the, I'm going to go to the next size. On the next X, I'm going to gently lower so I can eyeball. And I'll hold it up to the camera once I... But you just kind of eyeball until you just kind of snug it to where it just, it's lightly held in place by your hands on this thing. See? Just like that. Eyeball it. Okay? Then you give it a punch. You squeeze. See? It was like no effort at all. <laughs> and then um, what I do is I kind of like stand it up. Pull. And then you just kind of have to like, twist it a little bit off of the punch. Kind of gets a little snug. Kind of just wiggle. Boop. And there I got my next hole size. It's like really that easy. And from, so one thing I want to point out is and you'll usually have like a little piece like this left over. Okay. So you'll want to find these if you got pets, little kids, you know, I'm eating little pieces of metal discs. Um, you'll want to find those. Um, one thing I want to point out is sometimes you can end up with a mark. Um, I don't know if I can really show it here. Let me see. Um, I'm kind of doing this blind too. Okay. Do you see a ring? I find one that actually did a deeper ring. Sometimes you'll get a, a mark from the tool. So you can use, t here's an example here. You can see that there's, there's a mark here from the tool when I punched out these swatches. See the mark? It's like a circle. You can take care of that by just putting a little tape. A little tape on the tool. What you can do is put a little tape right here on the bottom. Um, it'll help cushion. That's what I, I said when you gotta be careful not to screw this up too high because you'll end up with some kind of funky anomalies. But just try to make it as level as possible as fill with your finger. So that's all there is to the power punch. Um, for me, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna complete all these punches on this swatch. I'm going to go back. I'm going to stamp 
the corresponding number above, and this is going to become my uh, little uh, bench tool example. So I know exactly what size to reach for when um, I need a sp very specific hole size. And one thing that I did to just FYI when I made these swatches with using the bracelet blanks, what I did is when I got the hole on the one that I liked, I took ones that weren't um, like say for this, I mean, I'll just flip it around ones that weren't punched yet and I would just overlap it and then I would go in there with a, a little uh, fine sharpie and just draw a little circle and then that's how I knew to punch it in the same spot on each and every one. So the end product, um, that it's going to look something like this. Those are all the sizes punched out on my swatch. I'll put on a, a hook on my workbench. Um, this hole was actually the 3 16th hole that I did on all the bracelet blanks to make my swatches. Um, and then I went in with my stargazer font, which is, this is actually one of my favorite set of letter stamps. And it, it, it does stamp stainless like butter. Um, I did a little, I have these little stainless moons that they, that, or, or even these little hearts. It, it just it's amazing. So, um, I, and then I just labeled the holes. I'll turn off the lights so, in case there's so the, the glare so you can see better. All right, so that's what you can do with this. And it, and it gives you practice, changing out all the different ones and um, gives you a useful tool at the end. So that's how you use a power punch. Very easy, not, it looks intimidating or, you know, it's, it's unlike anything you've, uh, you've seen before you know it for the most part very simple to use most important thing is just be very cognizant that you're using the exact punch with the exact die same exact dimension okay that's it and thank you for joining me on this segment until next time take care and goodbye thank you for watching